you for tuning in to our second episode of Lifted. I'm Chandra Burnett. And I'm Marnie Robinson. For all of our new viewers, Lifted is a program designed to help people of all ages learn healthier ways of living, including maintaining a healthy diet and exercise. Chandra, I'm super excited about this show because you're gonna teach everyone how to do resistance training. I love resistance training. If you haven't tried resistance training, you might want to, to add it to your fitness regimen. It has a load of health benefits. Resistance training targets your bone health, helps to maintain healthy muscle tissue, helps control body fat, increases strength and balance, and it even improves your injury outcomes. And yes, you can do these at home as well. And of course, Chandra will show you how. And later in the program, Marnie will talk about foods that help us with our weightlifting goals, as well as how what we eat improves our overall health. As usual, please be sure to check with your doctor before beginning any exercise regimen. Now, before we get started, let's hear from the Muscleheads team. Good morning, good morning. My name is Alan Moore and I am a Houston transplant. I got here in 2005 to go to Texas Southern University and I've been here ever since. I'm the person that you see when you want to sign up and also the person that you want to see if you need anything throughout the day. I'm here to assist your workout, but other than that, I'm here to help. Muscle Heads is a different gym because not only do we have the passion and the drive to become better, we make sure that our patrons have the same passion and drive with the with the understanding, knowledge, and the mobility to make sure that they get, we get them there comfortably. With Wheeler Avenue Baptist Church, it was my first church home when I got down here in 2005. I was referred here, I was referred to Wheeler by a cousin of mine who went to Texas Southern University. I went to the very first sermon, heard Pastor Cosby speak, and that man has been a major driving force in my life and keeping my head on my shoulders when I need spiritual guidance, understanding, and just a little, a little bit of word to help me throughout the day. When we talk about resistance training and the positive effect it has on your body, the first thing people think about are strong muscles. Whether you lift weights or use your own body weight, resistance training can help you achieve muscle gains. But what if I told you that resistance training does the whole body good and why everyone should work it into their fitness regimen? And what if I told you Food can help aid you in the process. Maintaining healthy bones, building strong muscle tissue, controlling body fat, and improving your balance are all some of the top benefits of weightlifting. But here's the most incredible news. Foods high in proteins actually do the same thing as weightlifting. So cool, right? So here is how it works. While strength training is working on the outside of the body, sculpting it, tightening things up for you, the food you eat is doing the work on the inside to build strong bones, generating good blood cells, and building a strong heart, and so much more. What food does all this work? Protein. You want to stick with proteins that are unprocessed and that are high quality. For all you meat eaters out there, that would include grass-fed beef, free-range grass, bread, eggs, lamb, or fish, just to name a few. But for those of us who are on a predominantly plant-based diet, examples include sprouted whole grain breads, quinoa, hemp seeds, peanut butter powder, yogurt, eggs, lentils, and beans, again, just to name a few. However, I can't leave you without sharing the benefits of incorporating high quality protein into your diet. Number one, protein reduces your appetite and hunger levels helping you eat fewer calories. This is caused by the improved function of weight regulating hormones. Number two, protein increases muscle mass and strength. Muscle is made primarily of protein. Getting the sufficient amount of protein can help you gain muscle mass and strength while reducing muscle loss during weight loss. Number three, it's good for your bones. People who eat more protein tend to have better bone health and a much lower risk of osteoporosis and fractures as they get older. Number four, it reduces cravings and a desire for late night snacking. That's because it makes you full. Number five, it boosts your metabolism and increases fat, helping you burn more calories throughout the day. Number six, and the best one of them all, it lowers your blood pressure. Several studies note that higher protein intake can lower blood pressure, 
Some studies also demonstrate improvements in other risk factors for heart disease. Remember, eat to live because food is medicine. And now let's talk resistance and strength training. All right, today's focus, we are on strength training and our first exercise, we are going to target our back muscles again. We are going to do rows, okay? So we're pulling that lawnmower string again, but this time we're doing both of them, okay? We're targeting our back muscles, we're targeting our bicep muscles, which we'll target more focus later, all right? So that first exercise, let's go ahead and demonstrate our uh, rows. All right. We'll have our weights and the stance that we're going to get into is we're going to get into a semi squat and our weights are going to be out to our sides and we are going to pull them back. Okay, squeezing your shoulder blades together and then release. So you're pulling that lawnmower string and releasing. And let's pull and release. Very good. Now, our next exercise is a push exercise. Last week we did push-ups. This week we're going to target, we're gonna take it up a notch and we are going to do the chest press, all right? We have two participants with us once again, Reverend Boone and Deacon Tinker. All right, and Re uh, Deacon Tinker has a back issue. So we can help strengthen that uh, back issue through exercise and through strength training. So she's going to be elevated doing an incline press and Reverend Boone is going to do the demonstrate the flat bench. All right, let's go ahead and get into position. You'll wanna grab your weights. Because of her low back issues, we're going to be at an incline. Okay, and we're gonna bring those weights up. We're targeting, once again, we're targeting our chest muscles, we're targeting our triceps, as well as working on our shoulders. All right, let's go ahead and take a couple presses. Press up, good, you wanna exhale. All right, let's bring that up just a little bit and press it up, good. Making sure that you engage your chest muscles. Good. Excellent. Now, our next exercise, which everyone likes to work on, those bicep muscles and those triceps, because we all want to look good with those short sleeve shirts on during the summer. All right, so our first exercise, we have our bicep curls, okay? So let's go ahead and grab our weights. We're gonna target the muscles in our front of the front of our arm, the, po uh, the anterior part of our arm, upper arm. All right, so when we do this, we wanna make sure that our, we keep our elbows tight to our sides, our waist, and we are going to curl up and slowly bring those weights down, targeting those bicep muscles, okay? All right, very good, very good. Pull up, good. Nice, nice. As you can see, they're utilizing their bicep muscles here, and those muscles help for us to be able to pull things open and pull, work with our, in conjunction with our back. There we go, very good. Thank you. Now, our next exercise, the triceps, which everybody loves to make sure it looks good. All right, so triceps, we do, that's included in that pushing motion. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna hinge at our hip, pushing our buttocks back a little bit, having a slight bend to our knees, and we're going to make sure we keep those elbows close to our sides once again, and we are going to kick back. So this particular exercise is called tricep kickbacks. All right, good. And making sure that you squeeze, squeeze those tricep muscles, the back of the upper arm, there we go, squeeze, all right, and squeeze, there we go, good. All right, thank you. All right, now we're gonna put it all together into a workout. We're gonna do three sets at 10 reps each, okay? So we got our pull, our pulling exercise, we have our chest press, and we have our biceps and triceps, all right? 
three sets, 10 reps, okay? All right, let's do it. All right, we're starting off with that pull. Let's do it. All right, here we go. Remember our stance for that pull, slight bend to the knees, and let's row. One, two, three, four, five, six. How we doing? Seven, good. Eight, nine, and 10. Woo, all right. Now, while we still have those weights, let's go ahead and get into our chest press position. All right, or bench press. All right. All right, let me just make sure that our participants are in. There we go. All right, and let's go. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good, all right, excellent. All right, now let's take it, change your weights, if you need to. <laughs> and let's take it to those biceps and triceps. Remember, we're gonna keep those elbows tight to our sides, and let's curl, and one. Good. Two, three, four, woo, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Woo, how we feeling? Woo, that was rough. <laughs> All right, keep those elbows up and let's kick it back. Here we go, one, working those triceps. Two, good, three, four, come on, five. There we go, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Woo, all right. How are we feeling? All right, let's go in. We got next round, round number two. Now remember, in between rounds, you can take a break, okay? You can take a break between each set. All right, and let's go. And in between each exercise if you need to. All right, let's pull, here we go. And row, and one. Squeeze those shoulder blades, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, woo, nine, and ten. All right, let's take it to that chest press. Now, if you have issues or the with your breathing, you can always count because that way you know that you're breathing. All right, ready? All right, let's get in position and let's go. Let's press it up. One, there we go. Two. Three, four, five. Now I'm doing mine on the floor. Six, seven, with my legs elevated. Eight, nine, and 10. Good. Just so I can engage my core a little bit more. All right, let's take it to those biceps and triceps. Ready? All right, here we go. Let's go. And curl. One. Two, three, four, five, woo, six, seven. How we feeling? Nine, ten. Woo wee. All right. All right. Now let's kick it back. Here we go. Let's go. Make sure you're counting. Now remember, there's a variety of ways that you can do these exercises. We're just only showing you one example today, but there are numerous ways that you can do these exercises. Woo, good, all right. Last round coming up. Are we ready? All right, let's do this. Oh, you know what, since this is the last round, let's take it up a notch and let's add about five more reps. How, we can do that, can't we? All right. Let's do it, let's add five more reps. All right, here we go. And pull, one. Squeeze those shoulder blades, two, three, four. I can't hear you counting with me, five. There we go, six. So I know you're breathing. There we go, eight, whoo, nine. Come on, 10, 11, ooh-wee, 12, <laughs> 13, 14, 
and 15. Woo, all right, take a break if you need to. All right, let's move on to that next exercise, that chest press. All right, whoo, how we feeling, good? All right, excellent. All right, let's go, let's get in position. Oh, we have a challenge here. Let's do 20 reps, all right. All right, let's do it. Let me get in position here. I'm gonna elevate my legs so I can include some more core work. All right, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Woo! Make sure you're engaging your chest muscles. Work those triceps. Good. The breathing. Counting helps ensure that you're breathing. There we go. Good. Woo, keep it up. Very good. There we go. Good. All right, we made it through. All right, now we got those biceps and triceps. All right. All right, do we have another challenge here? Yes, let's do 20. All right, here we go. Remember, however many you want to do, you know you. There we go. Two. Good. Choose your weight wisely. <laughs> there we go. Good. Making sure you keep those elbows tight to your side. Working those biceps. Woo! There we go. Come on, we got this. Ooh. Woo! Five more, come on. Woo, we got it. I don't hear you, Rev and Boom. Good, excellent. All right, let's take it to those tricep kickbacks. All right, here we go. We got 20. All right, let's do it. Here we go, kickback. Making sure you squeeze that muscle. There we go. Back of the upper arm. You want it to look good. You want to be able to have that strength to push. There we go. Good. Also, we're still engaging our core. Our abs are tight. There we go. Good. Good. We know that we're breathing because we're counting. There we go. Good. Excellent. All right. Good job. Good job. Good job. There we go. We made it through. All right. So as I stated before, you can put these exercises in any routine, any count that you would like to, okay? Just whatever you do, do it, okay? So that you can get stronger and feel better and look better and move better. That's all we have for today. Today's show was brought to you by Wheeler Avenue and Muscle Heads Gym. Muscle Heads is located at 2715 Emancipation Avenue right here in Houston, Texas. So if you're in the area or if you're looking for a really cool gym, come on over to Muscle Heads. Remember, your body is a temple for the Holy Spirit. So choose life by eating to live instead of living to eat. And get plenty of exercise to improve the overall state of your health. Thank you for joining us. See you next week.